Well, we're gathered here today to witness Donald and Megan being joined in Christian marriage. And I know that they would love to extend thanks to all the family and friends that have traveled and uh, made arrangements to be here today to witness this, as well as everyone watching online. I hear this is being live cast, which is awesome. Wash over me, let me fall from my For those who may not know, Donnie was Megan's high school crush. And when we were in 11th grade and he was in 12, he asked her to our high school's version of a prom. And he had done it in the most elaborate way I had ever seen. The entire junior, junior and senior class came to watch. And I doubt he knew it at the time, but he won Megan's heart over there because there's nothing that she loves more than attention. <laughs> When I was eight years old, my mom would told me I was gonna have a sibling. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed that I would have a brother so we could do guide stuff with, we could go fishing, we could run amok, we could wrestle. And then when I finally saw him, I was incredibly disappointed. <laughs> I, he couldn't do any of those things yet. All of this beauty, everything that we've put together today is actually an expression of true inner realities in your lives and the true reality of the words that you're making. There is a solidity and a beauty and an age, a seasonedness to them that is every bit as solid and beautiful as what we're seeing around us. I cannot begin to say how blessed I am to have Megan as a sister. Even though she wanted to name me Flower Butterfly. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It shows how joyful she is and always has been. Donnie has become a permanent addition to our little friend group and we're so grateful for that. <laughs> he has been such a fun, kind, selfless addition and he's always down for a good time, especially if it involves dancing. I've been thinking about your day together and the words that we're about to say and indeed the word that I think is so important to think about for just a minute is covenant. God is the inventor of covenant. He's the inventor of words that have meaning and what's great about it is he's inviting us into something much larger than ourselves. To make a covenant is not an act of creativity. It's not an act of self-expression. Covenant is joining into something that's way older and bigger than any act of self-expression and creativity. And we actually did talk about this, not that I expect you to remember right now, but we did actually <laughs> talk about this. Right at the beginning of their relationship, before they had gone out, they had just reconnected. Um, I can remember sitting at a coffee shop with Megan on a Sunday afternoon. We both had work in front of us that we had to do, but we were hunched over her phone, trying to perfectly curate these texts to Donnie. And so finally, after about an hour, Donnie invited her to join him at another coffee shop that he was at. Um, where he was waiting with her favorite drink. Donna Megan, because you stated your intentions to live after God's word 
and you've made your vows before God and these witnesses. By the authority invested in me as a servant of Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>